Hello guys, today is a video demo on how I thread my brother embroidery machine PE550D. You can see here in this video how it's very easy to thread this machine and how it's very user-friendly. For me, this is an excellent quality home embroidery machine that's great for beginners and professional sewers as well. Hello guys, today is a quick video demo on how I create a beautiful Disney embroidery designs with my brother embroidery machine PE550D. Here you can see how I set up my machine and how to operate and do the embroidery stitches that I like. I chose mini mouse, then I press the square frame that I'm going to use for my project. Then I press set and then embroider. Now it shows me what threads to use for this project. Now here you can see how I place my stabilizer the fabric that I'm going to use in the frame. I use the ruler to make sure that my design is on the center and I also use it to flatten the fabric on the frame. With this procedure, I make sure that the fabric is well stretched and flattened correctly so my embroidery stitches will look great after all the stitches are done. Then I tighten all the screws underneath to make sure the embroidery design will be done correctly. Now I'm attaching the embroidery frame to the embroidery table. Now I'm going to start embroidering. I press the start stop button to start embroidering. This is how it's very easy to set up and start an embroidering on this brother PE550D embroidery machine. What I also love here, it tells you exactly what to do. The computerized touchscreen tells you what the colors you need, how many minutes for each thread, the next thread to use, and when embroidery stitches are all done. For the bobbins, I only use one color. For this machine, you don't need to change the bobbin color, and the upper thread is the only one that I change according to the touchscreen instructions. Also what I love here with this machine, it has a memory. When your thread suddenly breaks, or you need to wind the bobbin, you can pause and stop and you can come back later where you left off. Then the touch screen will ask you if you want to resume the project or not. It automatically stops when the threads are done stitching. Then I remove the thread for the first color from the machine. Then I will place the next thread according to the touch screen's instructions. Then I will repeat the same steps for embroidering the remaining colors. So here you can see the step-by-step -step guide on how I created the Minnie Mouse embroidery stitches with this beautiful embroidery machine that is very easy to operate and very user-friendly. This embroidery machine is great for beginners and also for professional seamstresses as well. So I highly recommend this embroidery machine. This is also a great investment and great value for my money. So I give this embroidery machine a 5-star rating. At the end of this video, you can see the finished look of Minnie Mouse embroidery stitches, how beautiful it is and it's so clean and very nice. 